forward edge concept is a prediction of what direction we might take with the Ford production car. But we're not really making any announcements about the production car today. We're keeping the message on the concept. The front identity of the car has been drawn into what we call the new Ford brand DNA. So you're going to see our uh, trapezoid grille on the new edge concept, but uh, we've done it in an edge way. We don't need to have the same grille on every car exactly. I don't think people would like that. Um, and we don't want to lose the edge character that people have come to love. Uh, the design theme for the body side of the car really draws from our desire to pull edge into the modern Ford brand DNA. What we wanted was to have an edge-like appearance, and we got that from the silhouette. So then we were free with the body language to do something a little lighter, a little more agile. But we wanted to take edge concept in a different direction, something a little more athletic. So we're using that line that runs down the side as a boundary to sculpt out the body panels to a, to a different section that gives that athletic appearance. You might see that the lamps are very technical in their appearance, very linear. Um, one of the ways we achieve that thin aperture is that we have the components of the lamps very intricate and very um, multitasked. A little different in the rear, we have a couple of things going on. The tail lamps are attached to the backlight in the same way that the headlamps are attached to the front grille. We have this ribbon light that becomes our tail lamp function and it is a clear piece of acrylic with LED light shot through it. The interesting thing is it's very sculptural. It's bounded by some very technical lines, but when you look at it, when you view it, because of its depth, it becomes very sinuous, almost like this molten ribbon of light. If you do concept vehicles that are a real stretch, you get criticized for not paying attention to your core business. If you do concept vehicles that are very close to production reveal, um, you get criticized for not being creative. So what Edge concept does is it predicts where production edge will head without really revealing production edge. The interior theme is called Dynamic Sanctuary and it really takes the dynamic forms from the exterior and brings them into the interior and it covers them in some upscale soothing materials. The exterior is accommodating and dominating but it works well together. The interior is dynamic and sanctuary. They work well together. The first thing I want to point out is the IP. It's covered in hand-stitched leather. Um, of course, the seats are in leather, but it's this really creamy Forte leather, and it has white inserts. Not white piping, but these beautiful white inserts. The LED lighting really helps set the mood in here. Um, it keeps you focused on the technical aspects and um, looks very modern. I guess the risk is that you don't want to overdo it, but uh, I think right now uh, it just looks spectacular. It's a way to tie the whole interior together. Putting functionality into the armrest is um, a way to let people, you know, command their own space and uh, it takes pressure off the front seat occupants to have to help out the rear seat occupants, so we've segregated those controls. Of course, you can take it all back here in the front if you want, or you can delegate and uh, I think there isn't a parent out there who doesn't understand how valuable that might be. I think overall the Edge concept uh, we can say is a good prediction of one direction we might take the production car.